Hello everyone. For those that don't know me, I am a past staff member of the Millennium Credit Union. I'm also a past director of the Millennium Credit Union and my original member number was 144. So, I'd just like to point out, um, Mullaney is not short of financial institutions, as was pointed out earlier. Mullaney is, no, is not short on a broad range of very good financial products and services. Mullaney is not short of affordable credit which was for community members, which was one of the really driving forces when the credit union was originally formed. There was a dearth and a shortage of available credit for a lot of the community members. That's no longer the case. And is it your Mullaney is on the brink of becoming short of the possibility of having a community driven, ethical, innovative, <coughs> environmental and socially driven community development finance institution. Right. So Malay Credit Union was developed as a community development finance institution. The finance institution being the mechanism for the community development. So the timing of this issue I think is really important. I'm currently the finance manager of one of the few small community recognised community development finance institutions still in Australia. I understand from being on the board and working within the credit unit that since the Australian financial services licensing regime came in five or six odd years ago, I do understand the regulatory burden and the overkill that's been in place by government and placed on the credit union. However, working within the community development finance institution area that I'm currently working in, I'm also very aware that the government has now had a chance after five or six years of the current financial services regulatory regime being in place, government is now becoming aware that there are certain areas that are no longer being covered, that were covered by small credit unions and other types of financial mutuals earlier. I'm aware government at the moment is looking to try and fill those spaces and those gaps that are no longer being met by credit unions, by building societies and by banks because the regulations don't allow them to do it any longer. All I can say is my vote is no at the moment because I'm aware that yes we had a, a heavy regulatory burden, I believe it's in the process of potentially changing. I think government is looking at, and I know that they are actually working on, trying to develop a community development by institutions in Australia once again. Um, so my main thing is at the moment just I'm going to be voting against the merger because once the Millennium Credit Union is gone, it is gone, no matter what happens in the next year or two. Thank you, Robert. Thank you.